Hi guys, today I am inside and I am in my daughter's room working on a simple shelf. Uh, she just wanted a simple white shelf, not too big, not too small, somewhere in the middle. Um, and the reason why I'm doing it from uh, in the room is because um, it's sometimes a struggle to um, get things up the stairs once, once I have completed the build. So I just decided to go ahead and do it inside the room today. Um, one of the things that's a challenge for me is just stopping uh, and taking notes and um, making a conscious effort to uh, stop and do videos or tutorials. Um, but as you can see, I've already started the process. I've already started working on the base. Uh, I have one by twos at the bottom and I use back screws to screw those in and they're six inches from the edge. Um, and then I have one by twelves. Um, this is one shelf that I already have laid down and it's 44 inches. All of the shelves are 44 inches long. I have five shelves um, and I've already made the cuts. These are dividers. Um, they are 11 inches uh, long. Um, I have eight of these that I'm going to put in the shelf and then I've already created the pocket holes so I can go ahead and start screwing them in. I have pocket holes at the top and bottom of each divider. Um, so they can just uh, attach to the top and bottom shelf. Um, so let's get started. I have a piece of scrap wood that I use um, just because I want to make sure that my edges are flush, um, that they're all even. And so this is what works for me right now. So I'm using one and a quarter inch um, pocket hole screws just to um, screw them in in the pocket holes, the top and bottom um, divider. So here we go. until I get it built all the way up. I have uh, five shelves that I'm gonna use. And so we got two of them done already. So um, as I mentioned before, these are um, six inches from the edge. Um, and so I'm just gonna move this, this divider in a little bit more. So this one will be six inches from the first divider. So let me go ahead and do that and mark it.
And I'm hooking, putting my pocket hose um, inside. That way you can't see them from the outside. I have to go in. Once I get done um, building, I have to go in and um, fill these holes. That way they're hidden. inches from the first um, with the binder almost messed up. So then I'm just using my um, pocket hole and pocket hole screw and drilling it in. Just get up and take a look. here just kind of want to show you all how to make it and if there's um, adjustments I need to make I can definitely go back and, and adjust it so we got um, that room so we just keep going up So um, I just realized that I didn't put glue on this one. I don't think I did on the first one either, but let's just go ahead and do it now.
So, the next row. So basically what I'm do what I'm gonna do is just alternate them. I actually come back out to um, six inches and then 12 inches basically, or six inches from the first one and alternate um, until I'm done. For some reason, a leveler is not working today. I mean, it's just me. So glue, same routine. I'll just keep doing this until um, I get done. Look. It's actually starting to like the shell.
So this is going to be the last layer. Say it again. This should be six inches from the first one, the one below. a little longer. A wider. And it's a little wider, but I'll fix it um, when I get ready to do finish work. really hard working from back here but I'll make it work
This is the uh, final piece for the top. And there we go, we have our um, shelf built. Oh, so it's too tall to do that. I need a longer piece of scrap wood. So, but anyway, this is something that you could do fairly quickly. It doesn't take long to um, make. You see how long it took me. I'm just gonna go back through and make sure that um, my boards are straight um, and then make any adjustments that I have to make or that I need to make for the shelf. But, so this was easy breezy, um, didn't cost much. Um, I think I had to buy four one by 12s to pull this out off um, and I got them from the Home Depot. So um, pretty easy shelf to make. Um, once we get done with everything, we'll post the pictures so you can see, you know, how it looks and how she um, decorates it. So thanks for watching and thanks for following along on this journey. Have a great day. Thanks.